The world we all live in today is totally dependent on measurement and control. Everything from energy, communications and transport relies on measurement and control technologies. Most people take these ubiquitous measurement and control technologies for granted. But to make these work efficiently and effectively for us all, they require engineers, technicians and technologists who understand the complexities of this hidden world. So the Institute of Measurement and Control is absolutely concerned with calibration, with validation, with accuracy, with safety, with quality of measurements. By bringing engineers from different industries and different companies together, we're able to speak with a powerful voice uh, nationally and to influence the way that the technology is developed and applied. Engineers in the modern world have a particular pressure from technological change and members join our institute because they want to be able to keep up to date with developments in the field, they want to be able to network with other people, they want to have opportunities for continuing professional development and also they wish to become recognised as professional engineers registered with us uh, and also with the Engineering Council as chartered engineers. We, we encourage our members to keep learning through our professional, professional development programme uh, through conferences and workshops and seminars that we order um, both nationally and locally and through uh, a programme of continuing education. One of the roles that a professional engineering institute can fulfil is to represent the concerns of members and their industry to government uh, at every level. We have uh, an input into government consultation documents uh, on everything ranging from the growth of the National Health Service to the new Nuclear Build programme. Uh, I would argue that membership of, of a professional institution is absolutely as relevant now as it ever was. If you're a young engineer starting out in a career and you're wanting to develop uh, your professional reputation, then what could be better than an opportunity to network with people of all different types of seniority in your sector and beyond it? Uh, an opportunity to learn the current state of the art, an opportunity to interact between industry and academia. Um, this is what we stand for. Uh, and we also stand for waving the flag for engineering to the wider public. Uh, the UK is desperately short of engineers. Uh, we need to recruit more people into this field. We need people to understand the importance of engineering today. And that's what we stand for. Um, we always have and we always will.